Hello students, welcome back. So we are again here to discuss the running topic that is projection of solids. So if you remember in the previous video, I already discussed with you that cube case, if you remember this one. So this has been discussed with you in the previous video. Okay, so today we are going to discuss uh, this first case in which axis is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. Okay, so this is the first case and this is a sub case. So today we are going to discuss this one. So let's see the question. So this is my question and according to that question, this is my imagination. So first read out the question and then we'll understand everything. So triangular prism with side of base this one 35 mm and axis 50 mm long is resting on its base on HP. Okay, so this is my triangular prism. So why it is called prism so you know that both top and fa base faces are exactly the same and they are joined with the help of rectangular faces that's why it is called prism okay for more information i recommend you to go to the previous video of the theory of projection of solids so you will understand what is prism okay so it is given that that side of base is 35 mm okay and axis of the prism is 50 mm so whenever the axis length is given it means your height of the solid is given so the height of the solid in this case it is a prism your solid is a prism so height is 50 mm okay long is resting on its base on hp so you can see that it is resting on abc base on hp Draw the projection of prism when one of its rectangular faces is perpendicular to VP. Okay, so now it is a very good constraint over here that how you rest on HP, it is okay. You, you are going to rest it on HP in any way. But whenever the constraint is given that one of its rectangular faces, any one of its rectangular faces must be perpendicular to VP. So I'll take this rectangular face A, C, F, D. This rectangular face, I'll take this rectangular face exactly perpendicular to VP. Okay, so this is my constraint. Okay, and the nearest edge parallel to VP is 10 mm from it. So nearest edges you can see here are is near to VP is C, F. You can very easily see this. C, F is the nearest edge to your vp and it is parallel to vp as well so my all constraints are satisfied over here so now i'm going to make this question i hope you understand this imagination very clearly so i'll repeat it that prism rest on abc face okay or base or face okay and this rectangular face a c f d this is perpendicular to your VP and the nearest edge that is CF is also parallel to VP. So these are the my, these are my constraints and your solid that is square prism sorry triangular prism should be like this. Okay, let's start with the question now. So take a line. Now you know that from the front view i cannot see my triangular face of the prism so you have to make in this case first top view okay so you have to make the top view first after that you make the front view according to your top view okay so let's make the top view first because from the top view i can see the complete triangular shape of the prism the true shape of the prism so take a line okay now the distance from vp is also given so take that distance so it is 10 mm so i'll take 10 mm over here so this is 10 mm so from here now i'm going to make a triangle here so it is equilateral triangle as you know that triangular prism so it is a triangular prism so you know that in the prism all edges are equal so it is a 35 it is given so i take a line again so this one and downside it is 35 okay so now this is this edge is 35 okay now i'm going to complete my triangle over here now if you have a compass okay if you are using compass 
and making drawing on a drawing sheet with the help of draft or compass now what you are going to do is put your compass over here the steel part of the compass over here and mark an arc over here okay in the same way second time put your steel part over here and mark an arc over here okay then join your lines over here but we are using autocad so we have to do what is we use circle instead of compass okay so i'll take the circle come over here make a circle over here and the radius of the circle in this case is 35 okay so again i take the circle come over here again radius is 35 so wherever these both circle meet that becomes your point okay now i'll take a line this one this one and this one so it is done okay so in this way i'll make my circle so i'll remove everything you can also delete these circles okay i'll delete it i don't need these now okay so this is the one of the way to make your equilateral triangle over here okay so i can also make this triangle with the help of polygon command okay now how to make that i'll show you again take a line and the distance from vp note down that is 10 mm this is done okay now take a polygon command over here polygon and number of sides by default it is three so you can also write three because number of sides of triangle are always three okay now i have the edge which is 35 mm so i'll take edge okay now starting point i know it should be from here so i'll make like this so you know that you see this whenever i start making this uh the your equal triangle starts to form okay so now i'm going to just give the edge which is 35 so if you write 35 and enter you can see here your equal equal triangle has been formed okay so you, i'll i show you two ways to make your triangle or equal triangle or equal triangle of the triangular prism from the top view you can choose any way or anyone okay i'll select this one with the help of polygon command okay so now this is my top view now with the help of this top view i'm going to make my front view okay so make a uh, projections above now the distance from hp is also given okay you can please read carefully the your statements of the projection of solids it is said that it is resting on its base on hp means if it rest on hp it means there is a no difference from hp so you have to make your front view exactly on your reference line that is xy line okay so from the front view you can very much see that you from the front view you will see this rectangle obliquely okay you cannot see the complete rectangle but you will see the edges of the rectangle outwards so okay now i know the height also so i'll start making it very easy i'll choose the poly line okay i'll make line over here this is a base and upwards it is 50 mm we know that height is 50 okay and then this one so i'll make like this you can see this this way okay this one and put down again okay so you can see that this is my rectangle from the front view okay now your front view and top view both have been done now i'm going to make the nomenclature of these so very important in the projection of solids so you know that when you see from the top view this this face d d e f this is visible first to you after that this abc face is visible from the top view so you should make this nomenclature accordingly whatever the face is visible to first to you that should be right outside and whatever the face is afterwards means opposite to your visible face which is abc in this case it should be right inside okay so like that so i'll make a text command put over here and this is d select it improve its text so i'll make it 8 okay 
this one okay so i'll put over here so this is d okay remember this this corner is d and this is d so d e f so i'll make like this i'll copy it and put over here put over here as well okay and then i select this and i know that this is e actual so i'll e again and this is f okay done so this is the visible face to me from the top view you can see here when i see from the top view this is first face which is visible to me okay now i'll make the nomenclature of abc now so okay so i'll make it like this i'll copy it put over here put over here and put over here okay now i know that the d point and afterward d i have a point so i should write like this this is a and this is b okay and this is c okay so you should make your nomenclature in the projection of sorts very carefully which the face which is visible to you it is always right outside of your top view or front view whatever and whatever the face is not visible to you but opposite your visible face it is always right in words your face okay in this way okay so this is face which is afterwards your visible face so i'll make like this so in this way the observer or the or the observer will understand that the visible face is def and the other face is abc okay so this is that's why i will make nomenclature in this way okay now i'm rest with the nomenclature in the front view so very easy so i'll make like this i copy any one of them so i'll put over here 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 okay so now very much clear that abc abc phase is this phase which is rest on hp so this phase is abc and this is def phase okay so i'll make first this one so this is e dash very easy so you can see here this is e point so e projection goes upwards so this must be e dash okay in the same way this is point f f dash okay and this is d dash done so this is the way to make a nomenclature in the front view d dash f dash e dash so you can easily see here from that when you see from here this d is visible first to you so you should write d first here then afterwards f because f is after the point okay so d f it should be like that and very thing important here is again i tell you that f should be inside okay f should be inside over here okay so you can also put over here as well the reason being here is you can also put f inside you can also put f outside because there is a no face over here there's no face over here okay so you can write in this way so now i'm going to make a nomenclature here okay so this point is i know that this is b b dash and this is c dash okay and this is a dash done okay so this is the nomenclature of all the points so make your rectangle thick as per convention of lines make your triangle also thick as per convention of lines okay so this is the way to make this square prism when when it is rest on hp and your axis is also perpendicular to hp okay
and your rectangular face is perpendicular to VP. You can see here AC, FD. I'll take this rectangular face perpendicular to VP. Okay, so this is the top view and front view of my triangular prism. I'm interested with the dimensions only. I'll take a linear dimension. Okay, and put over here, put over here. So you can see this is 50. Okay, and again take a dimension and line one because this is aligned this one this one so this is 35 one more thing is it is said that axis about the axis so whenever the axis is talking about whenever you're going to make the solids case you have to make the axis in that okay you have to show the axis over here so how to show your axis here is just take a line come to the center of this one okay and make a line over here like this and this line is your axis line make it like this this is your axis line which is passing through like this okay you have to show your axis line always in the projection of solids it is very important to show the axis over here okay so whenever you do any type of question always shows axis in the projection of solids okay i hope you understand this question okay and very important to see that the nomenclature how to do the nomenclature very important in the, these cases and you have to show the axis in projection of solids okay i hope you understand okay thank you everyone